On special demand and after a lot of compliments about my snare sound, <laughs> I want to share my knowledge and show you how I tune my snare drum. For this video, I got a 14 by 6.5 Ludwig Supra Light snare drum to show you that it doesn't always have to be an expensive drum to achieve a great drum sound. And this snare costs around 200 euros. So the first thing that I do after buying a new snare drum is I change the batter head. And my most favorite snare drum head is the Remo CS Coated Black Dot. And CS stands for great sound. <laughs> <laughs> no, it stands for controlled sound. But this head has exactly what I need to get a great snare drum sound. <laughs> cool, so after I did that, I turned the snare upside down and take care of the resonance head. Okay, first of all, I loosen the snare wires and put a stick underneath or in between the wires and the head. So, I get a nice clean sound. Then I loosen all the screws of the resonance head. And now I tighten them finger tight again. So I take a screw, take the opposite screw, and start turning the screw until it is finger tight. And I do this with all the screws. And after I did that, I take the drum key and do two full turns on each screw to get the resonance head super tight. Oh yes. Back to the batter head, same thing here. Tighten all screws, finger tight, same way as we did with the resonance head. With the screws all finger tight, you get an equal tension throughout the head to have a basic starting point. Now I take the drum key again and do one full turn on each screw. From there, I start tapping around on the drum head close to each screw to listen to the pitch and adjust it with a little less or more tension until all the screws have the same pitch. Okay, let's listen to the snare now. This snare already sounds really great, especially for some rock music. And you got a great response of your snare wires, even when you play it super soft. But now I still have a lot of overtones and it's pretty ringy. So I want to put on some muffling. I have this Skygale damper pads right here, it's like moon gel. And I put this right next to the Remo sign, right here. And let's play one more time with the muffling on the snare. Wow, that sounds great too, but I'm a bigger fan of the open tone kind of sound. But now I want to have a little more higher tuned snare that I can play in funk music, for example. And what I do now is I take the key and do a quarter turn on each screw, but I don't tap around the drum head anymore. So turn up each screw a quarter turn and see where we get. Do another quarter turn. It's almost a little too high, 
the tuning for the snare, but it sounds great. Nice crack, still got a great response with your snare wires. Oh, sweet! And I put a little bit of muffling again on the snare drum, but a little bit more outside of the head because then I have a little bit more overtones. So we got a rocky snare, we got a funky snare, and now we need something really low and fat. So from the rocky snare to the funky snare, I did a half turn with a drum key to get that high. So now from the high tuning, I do a full turn of the drum key to get to the low tuning. See you in a bit. Wow, that really is a low tuning. The full turn of the drum key was almost too much for each screw and I had to adjust it a little bit because the screw was super loose. And I put a muffling on here too, a little bit more inside the drums head, the drum set, the drum head again to get control of the overtones. And you have to play around with the tension of your snare wires because if they are too tight in that deep tuning, you lose a little bit of the low end of your snare drum. It's a little bit like trial and error with the tension of your snare wires. You have to look for the sweet spot. But if you find it, it sounds really great. Alright guys, this is the way how I tune my snare drum. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment and tell me about your snare drum tuning experiences and what's your favorite snare drum head. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you don't miss any more videos. Give this video a like and I see you next Wednesday when it's time for a new one. Simon out. Bye bye.